I will show six different ways of leveling restoration. Restoration XP is earned by healing yourself, healing others, or healing the undead. You gain XP by how much health is healed, meaning you or your target can't have full health and receive XP. Wards grant XP based on how much damage is absorbed, but other sources say XP is earned just by flashing the ward up for less than a second during combat. This will work best with the Mage Stone and any equipment that can decrease restoration costs or increase your magicka. Farngar can grant you access to many of the beginner restoration spells, such as Fast Healing, Healing Hand, and Turn Lesser Undead. The first method is to hurt your horse and heal it. Horses have a lot of health, especially in higher difficulties. You can equip fire and healing hands to both hurt and heal your horse, getting you both the restoration and destruction XP. Once again, depending on your current magic pool, regenerate, and cost reduction, you can just rubber band your controller or rebind your keys and AFK it. But since horses are outside, there is a chance of a dragon attack. Use it with caution. And after only 10 minutes, my restoration was a level 35. The second method is to self-harm and heal. There are many ways to cause damage to yourself, such as falling too far, activating a trap, or getting attacked by a wolf or another low-level creature. I chose a High Rothgar Wingate because I can quickly make my way up there, but if you no longer have access to it, there are some runes that the Greybeard send you to that have pressure plates that catch you on fire. Depending on your difficulty settings and your equipment, you could just rubber band your controller or rebind your key to AFK it. The only downside is there is a possibility of death with this one. The next one, Conjure Undead and Turn Undead. This one is simple, buy the cheapest undead conjuration, such as Skeletal Minion, and use the Turn Undead spell on him. Do this in a controlled area, such as your house. Once your magicka runs out, wait an hour and repeat. This one works pretty well until you have a high enough restoration for the next one. The next one, Healing and Equilibrium. This one can be done AFK with buttons being held down, but Equilibrium can only be found towards the end of the College of Winterhold questline. By the time you got to the spell, you could probably already have it gotten to 100, 2, or 3 times with the Ritual spell in the Repel Lesser Undead method. Next is the Circle of Protection. This one can level you up very, very fast. The drawback is that it does not show up until you have level 75 in Restoration. But once you get to level 75, head to Kala at the College Winter Hold and buy it from her. Just spam this in your house and you'll get the XP. The next one is Repel Lesser Undead. For this one, you will need Repel Undead or Repel Lesser Undead. Kala will have the Repel Lesser Undead available once you reach level 40 in Restoration. Once the spell is obtained, use it on low level Skeleton and Draugr. I was using it in Bleak Falls Barrow, having all the Draugr follow me through and using it on as many as possible, and it was rather effective. I was trying to do like a Call of Duty Zombies training thing, but um, they are triple windmill swiping me and it wasn't working out too well. I then had another idea. I instead grabbed the Ritual Stone, I cleared out the entire barrow, and then I would grab a large horde of them, quickly run to the door that requires a loading screen. Once I got to the other side, I'd wait an hour and they'd all die. I then run back, grab some more, go to the door, wait an hour, and I repeated that until I had pretty much everything there with me. In my footage, I did not have the spider or the skeevers. I did have a lot of draugr and a lot of bandits. I would try and have them all in one area and use the spell and it leveled it up incredibly fast. That's the one I'd, I'd recommend, I think. And then this right here is the uh, Ritual Stone footage, where I grabbed all the bandits from outside, inside, 
most of the Draugr from inside. I didn't have the Skeevers or the Spider, though. But, um, it was working really, really well. I had, I think, look at my notes here. There's, what, three bandits on the outside, four in the first room there. The one you get in the puzzle room, and then Arvel the Swift. So that's three, seven, eight, nine. That's nine bandits in total. I didn't have them all here, though. I dropped off a lot of them. Thirteen Draugr, maybe two more. I might have miscounted there. Around ten Skeevers and the Spider, but I didn't have the Skeever or, or the Spider here because too much room. The Skeevers are low, lower hitbox, all that stuff, so I was stuck with these guys because I just stand here, wait for my magic to come back, send out another wave, and I just get the levels. Yeah, so once you get level 40, this is definitely the one I'd recommend doing. One thing I forgot to include here, don't spam the spell too fast because they will aggro and then they'll run away and then you cannot hit as many at once. The last method is the Guardian Circle. 10 casts of this spell with a Guardian Stone will take you from 15 to 33, but to get Guardian Circle, you first need 100 in Restoration and the quest Good Intentions Complete from the College of Winterhold, which is pretty much halfway through their quest line. You have to complete a mission for Colette, and she'll allow you to then buy the spell off her. The main drawback is that you're already at 100 restoration, and it has a base cost of 716 magicka. Use it if you want, I will not be. I'm going to now list off the methods from worst to best, and a quick example or a few of why I think that. Healing Equilibrium is the worst one. By the time you have it maxed out, you could have done it two or three times over with half the other ones. Number two, healing and self-harm. It was leveling pretty decently, but the problem with self-harm is that's possible you can die. This effect applies to real life as well. Horse and healing hands. The horse will not die, and it will not move unless the enemy comes near. Conjure undead and turn lesser undead. I mean, it, it was really simple by the spell tome casting. The XP isn't super fast, but it's definitely effective. Repel Lesser Undead. With the examples I gave, this is definitely the most effective low level one. Number six, Circle of Protection. This one does not show up until you're very late into restoration, but it is worth it if you plan on resetting it. Cast a spell until you're out of Magicka, wait an hour and repeat. It's pretty simple. A quick Honorable mention to the Guardian Circle. Eat shit. Okay. Uh, I hope this video is useful and informative to anyone who plans on using Restoration class. Once again, thank you for all the support these last two weeks. I have never... I never would have guessed I would have started to grow this quickly. 